I'm back. So recently, I rewatched all of Nana, and the the thought I was having the whole time while watching the series is, oh my god, if they were gay, this would just solve the whole plot. Like, seriously. Okay, if you don't know Nana, which you don't know, you don't you you don't know Nana. Mm, unacceptable. Um, Nana is about two girls named Nana who moved to Tokyo, same age, on the same day, and then move into the same apartment together and become roommates. Really cool. It's very complicated drama. And one of the most interesting things is like the very complicated relationships these girls, that the girls gets into. I think the one thing that was really obvious is the relationship between Hachi and Nana is that they like each other a lot. Like a real lot. Like really, really a lot. Like the way they talk about each other, the way they interact with one another. They get Haji getting jealous of Haji's um the other Nana, but we call her Haji just to distinguish the two, okay? Blah, blah. Sorry. Um so Haji getting jealous about Nana hanging out with a fangirl of hers and just all this stuff. And the one thing, you, you know, think, but, 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 his thing. You know, Nana's just like, yeah, I ain't gay though. And, and Hachi, it's like, she's had a bajillion crushes. She has like, like so many different guys in her life. How could they, either of them, be interested in girls? When they n- know, but here's the thing, it's like, it's a concept, it's called like, uh, compulsory heterosexuality. And it's the idea that no matter what, you assume, I guess you just assume that like, it's a given, like you just have to be straight, no matter what, and this is like, the real life phenomenon that happens to a lot of people who just like, go their whole lives not really realizing like the kind of people they're interested in till much later in their lives and then boom they're like oh I'm gay but then it's like (laughs) but but the thing with Hachi and Nana that you know they both had relationship with guys so they're like yeah I like guys but (sighs) Again, the way they talk about each other. They're like, there's so much like Nana being like, I feel like a, in like her, nar- especially in the narrations, like Nana uh, narrating about how Haji makes her feel like a teenage boy falling in love and all this. But they just can't like fathom the idea that they could just be together. <laughs> they would be a perfect pair if it wasn't for the fact that they're both girls and don't recognize their feelings for one another and considering the fact that like the manga oh yeah even for oh god man <laughs> once you get into the manga like the anime stops like halfway point that uh, the manga got to before it went on hiatus for 12 years <sighs> Even in the in, in layer parts that the anime doesn't cover, it's so it's so obvious. It's so blatant that they are good for each other. That they, they like each other almost to a point where I think this is the mangaka's authorial intent, and I wouldn't be surprised. Especially this one part, which like where um. Hachi is engaged to a guy. Nana's also engaged to a guy. And Nana gets a specific type of engagement ring. And Hachi specifically asks to get the same ring. So when they meet up again, <laughs> they're both like holding hands and they're wearing the same ring. And it's so cute. It's like, ah, I can't, I, they're, there's like a bajillion examples of it and yeah I don't even know I don't even know where to go off on like the 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 hey nana 
uh, parts of every episode where it's the narration of in the heads of the two girls where they're always talking to one another, which are always such sweet, sentimental pieces or just, I don't, uh, just so many of the drawings and images of them looking at one another. With them just sleeping beside one another. It's so cute. It's so cute. Like, uh, uh, like, Nana and Haji are my favorite couple. They did need to get together. Ah. <laughs> Goodbye. I can't close it. I have a wire on me. <laughs>